In this video we're going to look at how you can write a number as a product of prime factors. In order to be able to do that I guess you need to know what a product of prime factors is. Well, a product means that you're going to write the number as a multiplication. Um, and the word prime in, the, in that phrase means that um, you're going to write it as a multiplication of prime numbers and prime numbers are those with exactly two factors. Um, and last of all you need to know what that word therefore factors means and factors are numbers which when you multiply them make your number so it's really saying we're going to write a multiplication using prime numbers which equals uh, the number that you are given. So if we go back to the first question it said write 52 as a product of prime factors we're going to write 52 as a multiplication using prime numbers. Well, how do we go about doing that? We need to start breaking the number down. So we tend to use a factor tree. And a factor tree starts with the number that you're given. And we draw two little branches coming off. And we split the 52 into a pair of factors. Now, I would suggest that you always start with 2 if possible. 2 times by 26. Just notice that the two numbers I've written down are factors of 52 and they form a factor pair. They form a pair of numbers which multiplied together make the number above. So 2 times 26 makes 52. Now when I reach a prime number in a factor tree, I'm going to circle it. So 2 is a prime number, and 2 is a prime number because there's only one way to write it as a product, 1 times 2. There are no other numbers which will make 2 when multiplied together, so 2 is a prime number. 26, on the other hand, is not a prime number because 26 can be written as 1 times 26 or 2 times 13. So 26 is not a prime number. 2 is a prime number, 26 is not a prime number. And when we reach a number that isn't prime, like 26, we can split that further again. And we can split it into 2 times 13. Now both of those are prime numbers and therefore we circle them. Once all your sort of branches have reached circled numbers, you've finished your factor tree and you can start to write 52 as a product of its prime factors. Where are the prime factors in this factor tree? Well, they're the ones we've circled. Here they are. So we're going to write 52 as something times something times something, a product. What are the prime factors? They are 2 times 2 times 13. And that's done. Sometimes you're asked to write it as a product of prime factors in index form. And that simply means you have to group together your numbers. So here I've got 2 times 2. And we often write that as 2 squares. So it's important you understand that this is the index form and this is the product of prime factors. Normally it won't matter which of those two formats you give your answer in. However, if it says give your answer in index form, you should do it like this. Let's have a look at another example. Write 48 as a product of prime factors. So we start a factor tree. And again, I would suggest that you always do 2 times a number if possible. 48 can be written as 2 times 24. 2, we've already learned, is a prime number. 24 is not a prime number because 24 can be written in lots of ways. like that. So 24 
is not a prime number. So that means we can split it even further. Again, I would suggest that we go for 2 times 12. Split the 12 because that's not a prime number. That can be written as 2 times 6. And 6 again can be split into 2 times 3. I've circled those 2's because I already know they're prime numbers. What about 3? Well, 3 is 1 times 3, but I can't really use any other numbers. It's a prime number, so we circle it. Now, to answer the question, write 48 as a product of prime factors, we should write 48 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. There they are. 1, 2, 3, 4 of them. And then there's a 3, which needs to be multiplied as well. And you could check this. If you do this multiplication, if you work out this product, you will get 48. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 3 makes 48. How do we write it using index form? Well, here I've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the power of 4 times 3. Let's have a look at third example, just to make sure that you're getting this. 36 is 2 times 18. 18 can be written as 2 times 9. And lots of people think that 9 is a prime number, but we can check that out very easily. It's 1 times 9, or it's 3 times 3. Because it's got more than two factors, it is not prime and we split it into 3 times 3. 3 is a prime number and therefore we circle it. So to write 36 as a product of prime factors we write 36 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 and in index form that's 2 squared times 3 squared. So I emphasize again you could write your answer like this or you can write your answer like this. It doesn't matter in this question. If we look at question 4, we've got to do 54 as a product of prime factors. This time we must give our answer in index form. So it's important that we use powers in order to write our answer. So we start with the 54. Again, it's an even number. So dividing by 2 gives you 27. 27 can be written as 3 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. Let's just have a look at how we write that in index form then. So 54 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now in this question, because it said give your answer in index form, that answer would lose you one mark. So you will now have to Right at how many? 3 times 3 times 3, it's cubed. So that is the correct answer. That will give you full marks. Sorry, you can't see that. Let's just move that a little bit. So this index form is what's required. Just a little side note you could choose to do your 54 factor tree differently. You could think to yourself, well, 54 is 6 times 9. And then you could split your 6 into 2 times 3. And your 9 into 3 times 3. And you would see that you would get the same answer. 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. My recommendation is that you always divide by 2 where possible because that's normally an easy thing to do. So halving a number is quite easy to do. And then once you get to an odd number, you can start thinking about other things to divide by, like 3 or 5 or 7. OK, and one last example, just trying to get home this idea about index form. 108 is 2 times 54, which is 2 times 27. 
27 is 3 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. So what we end up with is 108 can be written as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared, and 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 cubed. That would be your answer.